message. Hey, good morning. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. Today is Monday, the 22nd of June, 2020, and this is your update. It has been a busy weekend, as always, at Jekyll Bates, and I've got a few pieces I want to show you, but I had a couple of questions that I wanted to answer on the last spray session, which was this piece right here. This is the brown trout on that Depths Realizer Junior. It's the prop bait. You guys saw me at the end of the video brushing on the KBS Diamond Strength Clear Coat, which I did with one of these. These are artist fan brushes. They come in a multi-pack. I've purchased them at Walmart in the craft section, but you can also get, now the best value I've found with a multi-pack, which if you just want more than fan brushes, that are shown here. Um, you can also get uh, the double zero artist round detail brushes that I use on detailing these lines and various other dots and things that I put on by hand uh, also on those dots as well. Um, you can get those uh, provided in the link below. It's a 60 pack and it's the best value I've found where the bristles do not come off in the clear coat because there are some that are just like lousy made. You don't want to use them for epoxy or clear coat. Um, usually you can get away with, you know, picking, the, but it's just a pain in the butt. Don't do it. So I'm going to give you a link below. You guys can use that one or you can go to walmart.com order the, it's the brand name is Royal and Langnickel. I don't know if you guys can see it. And there you go, Royal and Langnickel is the brand. So that is that, and that's um, when I'm brushing things on, and the reason that I'm gonna continually bring that up is on these prop baits. Now, these also get brushed on, and when you're finished with the clear coat, and the clear coat is dry, you just wanna give these a good spin to make sure that there's nothing that is accidentally dropped on. And all of this is hand brushed. You don't want to ever dip anything like this or a jointed bait. It's all hand brushed on. These are going out to uh, Bob in Maine. And I painted him a couple of extra pieces. He's one of my tournament anglers. This is a little bit darker of a crappie. And then he'd asked for a green yellow, which we have done for him as well. Um, those are extras. And his, uh, his little owl wife, which I love doing. So we've got a few of those pieces going out to him. Also these sassy gills. That's one of his signature styles that he likes to have me paint for him. And it's got uh, a little bit of plum into some Maui blue on the sides, on the cheeks. These are all hand painted. Um, all of the gill plate or, and uh, ear flap lines on these are hand painted one at a time by hand so it is not always an easy task but there's six of them going out to him this morning i'll just show you a couple of them because they are the only difference is is where i place the uh the stencil this is a stencil and your color scheme is pretty much a blue purple this is actually a sienna now, Wicked has a detail line, and occasionally they change the formula on the colors, and it looks like they did this time. So on the top, I just added in a little bit of darker sepia just to get that proper blend because their sienna has gotten a little bit lighter, and then we've got a fade down to a sunburst on the belly of that. And these are, the, uh, these are from Dinger that I've gotten. Very cool. Good swimmers. Showed you on Facebook, if you guys follow my Facebook feed, uh, a couple of Lucky Craft. And I've just cleaned these off. And they're getting ready to go out the door this morning. This is that Lucky Craft SM Shad. This is a 55 nose to tail, 55 millimeter. Uh, these are deep divers. They'll dive down to about 8 feet which is pretty decent for a small, tiny 40 or 55 millimeter bait. 
but these things are really, really good. One of, one of my fave small ones. Trout will bust on these, bass, crappie. Love the smaller presentation in the summer, and that's just a, a fun gill pattern to do. Also on their bevy crank, now this is a 45 millimeter nose to tip or nose to tail without the lip on it. And this is just a, a little bit uh, more transparent. You can see in the belly of this and uh, I taped over the insignia just so we would know it's not a knockoff. I do prefer whenever I can to paint on the real deals. Most of us do, I would imagine. Don't always have that opportunity because they don't provide blanks that are blank for us. Now this is an original press. Now this is from Dinger as well. This is his Atlas 1.5. It's got his signature circuit board lip and also you're not going to find anything else that looks like this because he's having them pressed. He's working on jerk baits now I think as well. That's Molly. I don't know why she's groaning but she's down here next to me. And pretty much that's what I've got to show this morning. I've got a spray session that's going to be released tonight or tomorrow. We're still editing that and another one after that. Doing a couple more things on the water. I've got, uh, got a small baits fishing session to show you the last couple of nights just around town in Jonesboro. There's really only one water and hole that we can fish at. Uh, there's a couple. There's uh, Arkansas State University has got some stuff and uh, Craighead Forest Park. So I did a little fishing mission for some bluegill patterns and uh, I showed those off to you. So there's a little highlight reel that'll be coming out. You guys have a great day and we'll see you on the water. Cheers. Thanks for the view. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates. <laughs>